Welcome to EMU Review. I am Jason Heine, and today I'm taking a look at one of the best platformer games, period. And with a comment like that, I know what you're thinking. There are a lot of good platformer games. Without a doubt, I agree with you. There is no doubt that there's a ton of them, a lot of good ones, a lot of not so good ones, but this one here is just a little different. I think everyone would agree. It has a little different edge to it. I don't know. It has some sort of magic wrapped around it. Maybe it's because this was the pack-in game at the release of the Super Nintendo on August 13th, 1991 in North America. In Japan, they got it November 21st, 1990, quite a bit earlier. But nevertheless, it did come to the US, and when it did, it sold a ton of units. And at this time, pre the Super Nintendo's release, everyone knew that a game was going to come with it, and they knew it was going to be a Mario title. I mean, that's it. And a Mario title did they get. 49.1 million units sold worldwide. That's what the hell packing it in with the Super NES at release. It's crazy. I mean, the totals break down to 23.3 million in America, 17.1 million in Japan, and over 20 million worldwide by itself. Just the cartridge. I mean, that makes it one of the best-selling games of all time, period. We doggies! And really, that's not even including the ports that were released like Super Mario All-Stars. We all know that included all of the Mario games up until that point. And we also have a release on the GBA, Super Mario World Advance 2. That came out in one and also on Wii's virtual console in the group of games that were initially released this was one of them it's some serious stuff now I'm gonna get into a little bit of the review here and I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time reviewing the game as that's kind of redundant there's really no need to I just kind of want to talk about it give a little history and enlighten everyone if they haven't seen this before which you're crazy if you haven't I mean really crazy I would even go as far to say there's probably something wrong with you. You should check WebMD on that. It'd probably say, see your doctor. All right, so gameplay. What is there really to say about it that hasn't already been said or experienced? I mean, it's Mario. We got him. It's side-scrolling. It's a platformer. You jump from place to place on enemy after enemy, collecting coins, one-ups, mushrooms. I mean, you guys know the drill. It's addictive. It's awesome. It's it's just perfect. It's just It feels great. It plays great. And it sounds great. When this came out, people were just freaking out because one, it looked looked like no other game that had ever come out. And two, it was everything we loved about the first one. It was like Mario on crack and people couldn't get enough of it. Yummy. And the game just looks beautiful. It's colorful, vivid. Everything just pops at you. It just looks great. Okay, now to the music. I think this is where the game really shines. I think it kind of stands above and kind of separates itself from the rest. I mean, yeah, I think the sound effects are great too, but gosh, the music is just so good. I wonder why. Oh, maybe it's because it was completely Composed all by Koji Kondo. Oh, of course. I don't know. Maybe you've heard a couple of his other games, like every Mario Brothers game dating back to 85. Pilot Wings, Zelda Link to the Past, Zelda Link's Awakening, Super Mario 64, Star Fox 64, Ocarina of Time, Original Smash Brothers, Majora's Mask, Smash Brothers Melee, Mario Sunshine, Twilight Princess, Mario Galaxy, Spirit Tactics. I mean, the list goes on, people. Koji was the first guy hired by Nintendo in 83 to do all of their music and spread it to the world spread it to the masses he's the reason why we sing da 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 okay <laughs> Boy, he's good. So with that out of the way, <clears throat> so there's just a ton of replay value. There's seven worlds. After every world, there's a boss battle. It has over 96 total X's for the player to find. You only need to find 39 of these to beat the game if you just go blaze straight through it to Bowser. But there are 96 to find. There's just a ton of replay value. So you know a pioneer game like this? I just wanted to bring it out, show everyone a little video. It is a classic game. You got to check it out. So the EMU review grade for Super Mario World. This game gets... An A plus. Kaboom! That's how we do.